Hello, my name is Muhammad Lutfi Ramadan and I'm 22 years old. I have recently graduated from Institute Technology Bandung, majoring in Geophysical Engineering. And now, I'm currently taking the master program for the same major here in ITB and planning myself to graduate in around July this year. I have a vision in my life to become a senior geophysicist who works professionally in mining industry and help Indonesia developing and improving its domestic production. And in order to achieve that goal, I'm committed to always have an eager to learn more about geophysics and of course its application in mining to keep improving myself and focus on everything that I do. When I heard about the Anton Frisch Graduate Program for the first time, I was very excited and immediately found myself interested to join it. I believe that it is the perfect place for me to develop myself, to learn about new things and new experiences as well, and to implement directly the knowledge and the skills that I've already possessed in my college, especially about geophysics for mining exploration. And I also think that it could be a great opportunity for me to start my career in mining industry, especially in Antam as a professional and potentially growing company in Indonesia. In 2018, Antam announces the production and sales started jump on their main commodities such as gold, nickel, and bauxite. And as geophysicists, we can play a significant role in managing and developing during the exploration activities. Several geophysical methods such as gravity, magnetic, geoelectric, and electromagnetic are often used in finding the new mineral resources and reserves. Most of geophysical methods are made on the surface of the land, which is called ground survey while some others are taken from the aircraft or called as airborne survey. Well, basically, airborne survey are usually used for reconnaissance, while ground survey is used for more detailed investigation. And here are the comparisons of the two methods. Airborne survey have some impressive characteristics. They are fast, they are relatively inexpensive per unit area, and they can obtain several results at once. Moreover, they can provide a more objective coverage than ground survey in many kinds of terrain, but it will seldom give a specific or detailed results as the ground survey. However, there are some instances in which either airborne or ground survey can be used. In an extended exploration program, the combination or sequences of the methods may be appropriate depends on their individual advantages. In the end, I strongly believe that with all the achievements and the experiences that I've already had during my college life in both academic and non-academic, I would fulfill the requirements needed for the Antam Press Graduate Program. And with this, I commit myself to contribute and to give my best in this program. Thank you.